Hello, welcome to another oil painting demonstration with your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. It is a, well, I used to like calling them redos. These days I'm going to call it a metamorphosis, although this one doesn't change that much. This is more like my typical redo where the painting is basically sound with, you know, sound uh, composition and I just am augmenting things. And, um, uh, behind the scroll here, uh, the color I'm going over it with is my favorite redo glazing color, and that would be, uh, well, in this case, transparent earth red, which is a very, very similar color to burnt sienna. Uh, the difference, main difference being that transparent earth red is 100% transparent, and burnt sienna is slightly transparent. And uh, you'll often see, in fact, I believe. Uh, I know Dale Rowney markets their uh, burnt sienna in their student grade and it's actually the transparent earth red uh, the same the same pigment but I digress as always and uh, first off I would like to say sorry there's no live painting this week and there will probably not be next week because I am moving out of my studio at the, well not totally moving out I'm I should say I should rephrase that I'm going to be moving back into my studio at the quarry art center here in Fongare where I was for a long time um, uh, it's going to be the same spot but it's going to be re totally refreshed and redone and um, I'll be doing that within the next uh, couple weeks or so so uh, yeah, I was down there, um, breaking up a permanent sort of piece of furniture in there, and, um, we'll be getting in there and doing some painting and, and, and other, other stuff, so you can expect to see live videos from there, uh, at some point in the near future, and I may even be able to go live there. I do get interrupted there, um, but the interruptions are... Uh, usually by people just wanting to look at the artwork and um, we'll play it by ear we'll see I may actually try and go live for real so um, and actually I've been wanting to do some Q&A stuff and things like that anyway so that'll be a better spot um, definitely um, mostly because I would get interrupted at my studio that's in the antique shop um, with people just wanting to purchase something, you know, which is all good. As I've as I've told you repeatedly, getting interrupted from your painting is a good thing, not a bad thing. It is uh, nine times out of ten, what you'll find is when you come to get back to the work at hand, you will see that uh, there was something wrong that you weren't seeing and that you didn't address, and. Um, very interesting phenomenon. It's almost worth getting <laughs> interrupting yourself so you could, uh, you know, it, it, do, and do that. Get up, take a walk, maybe come back, and you'll see some things that you weren't seeing. Yeah. Uh, there's a big mythology built up around um, focus, and um, it's an attitude, it's a mindset. You don't need to work in an environment where you're not being interrupted. Nobody does. I don't care. Um, what your reasons are or for defending this uh, behavior it is um, basically not um, it's only relatively true how about that it's not actually 100% true because uh, well I tell you what you know what broke me of it I never liked being interrupted as I was working either but um, I worked in a commercial art studio for 13 years and um, boy I was more than interrupted I was interrupted with you know more stress and more work and then had to turn around and produce uh, creative artwork that was you know had to be good it had to sell in the marketplace I couldn't just phone it in it wasn't that kind of job and uh, to, to, to be honest most of those types of jobs are gone now you know um, there used to be a lot of things that human beings were employed doing um, especially in the arts uh, the computers basically have replaced computers photography uh, ease of reproduction and things like that have replaced a lot of um, busy work so if you're going to be in the arts now you better be good 
That's all I'm going to say. And that would go for fine art as well. And the only way to get good uh, to continue lecturing you, as I like to do, is to do a lot of work. Yes. And um, so don't, uh, if you're, one of the reasons that you have for not doing a lot of work is, oh, I have kids and da 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 da, or oh, I, you know, work uh, all day for a living and I'm tired and I come home and da 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 da, and I don't have enough energy to concentrate. Those are just excuses. That's what I call that. And um, most of the people in your life won't be calling you on that because oh, they want to stay friendly with you, right? They don't want to conflict uh, with you. And let's face it, that's a big part of getting on with people, right? Is <laughs> not pushing their buttons. <laughs> and one of the buttons you could push on an artist is giving you an excuse uh, why they're not actually doing any work. Like, oh, like, I need time to focus and concentrate. And these kids are just taking all my time. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't want to be the one to say, give me a break. What a load of, what a crock. Yeah, it's just, that's just an excuse. Why don't you just hang it up and, and just admit that you don't actually want to do any, any work. <laughs> I'm saying this lovingly, by the way. And, um, who knows? You could be avoiding doing some work right now watching my channel. So, I probably shouldn't be encouraging, uh, encouraging that, but whatever. It's all good. No, I just saw a painting here in this folder. I, uh, I think I just deleted it, but I'll put it in this redone folder anyway. I have big folders full of uh, paintings, you know, for my, my ph photography. Um, so, would you like me to talk about this painting a little? Well, it's based on a scene. Oh, when? Oh, no. No, I didn't close it. Let me see when we did this. Let me see when we did this. And, uh, by the way, you want more nuts and bolts stuff. In fact, you probably, if you do, you probably tuned out already, so that's all good. Um, you can go to my live videos if you've got the time, and uh, you get a pretty well-rounded, I have to say. You pretty much get what uh, people pay me um, 35 bucks an hour to do out here, which is, you know, a education in oil painting. So what the heck is the name of this? Oh yeah, it's called, uh, the name of this painting is Towards Dusk. That's why it's at the bottom. And what attracted me was like, I like this um, little road going around. Where are you, Towards Dusk? I thought I copied you over. Oh my goodness. <sighs> well, I'm not seeing it. I found it. Maybe I didn't copy it over at all. Hmm, that's not good. Anyway, I'm guessing I did it like 2016 or so, just judging on it. And I thought it was a pretty nice looking painting. So it's one of these ones um, that, you know, just wasn't um, completely bad, but that I thought I could make better. And one of the main ways I did that, I think, is just for that initial glaze. I think this guy's kind of interesting. There's about, um, there's maybe a little one, two, three-ness going on with those clouds, but I don't, I think I opted not to, um, really mess with it much. Yeah. So, where's this towards dusk? Where are you? Maybe I'll just sort by name. I'll just waste your time. How about that? Um, well, I really, you know, that's the other thing. Uh, not giving up. Okay, you, maybe you're noticing that it's like, wow, he really should have given up right now because he's wasting our time. And I'm, I'm losing viewers right and left. Oh my god. That's okay. Someone else will watch it. Um, I don't give up. Once I decide I'm going to do something, I do it. Okay, towards evening, towards the field. Uh, that's what I did with it. I am giving up. <laughs> But just for now, I'm going to have to dig that up because, um, well, the most important thing was to get a title. Uh, so, you know, I'm juicing it up. I, uh, like I'm adding a little bit of this, um, actually that's some of that new cadmium green and, uh, um, I love it. I, I really like it. It's a neat color. I, I haven't been doing, I have been painting this week. All I've been working on is this series of 12 little figures and today I was in the studio doing a white layer, um, which I will do a little quick, like, um, glaze over, um, when I get back in the studio on Tuesday, and, um, 
and then I'm going to evaluate things to see if I want to go one layer lighter with the, um, the, the, the white otherwise I may not because I'm after kind of a graphic look and I will be sharing some of those on my um, my news channel which uh, I think it's M. Francie, M. Francis paints the nude or something like that. If you just put M. Francis and nude it'll come up. There's only three videos up there and one of those is is not very very good but um, I'm surprised to see how many views they got. Quite a lot you know considering there's only three videos but uh, for me the nudes has always been a bit of a sideline and um, I, I started doing them about a year and a half ago and I found I find it I actually I really enjoy doing the figures so I'm probably going to be doing a bit more of that but for me the the landscape painting is the main thing and um, I have a big stack of paintings that I want to finish in the studio uh, that all need a second pass um, I started doing some of that but after making a decision to get back into the Quarry Arts Center uh, everything kind of got disrupted by that because uh, you know I've been running around uh, well first of all I had to run around and kind of make the deal you know and then um, uh, you know, spend time getting it all set up but I want it to be a very nice uh, environment to do art uh, to hang up my art actually um, whereas before I had a section and things looked pretty good but um, I really want to not get get things better and um, and also make more efforts to uh, you know just have a more curated sort of um, gallery kind of set up there uh, which you know I have done kind of in the past but it ends up kind of falling apart because every time I do a new painting I want to put it up <laughs> but it's going to be pretty exciting I think it'll be exciting for the channel and uh, uh, oh actually yeah I did solve the one two three problem and I solved it by getting rid of uh, diminishing the third little band of clouds um, and just so you know what I'm talking about with the one two three is um, effect uh, the the uh, the guy that um, owns the shop where I have my studio I had he was uh, showing me a painting uh, that he was looking at on eBay or something and I was pointing out to him how the artist had done the one two three thing and he's actually a very talented artist in his own right um, he does he mostly does things like movie sets and things but he has a very very acute eye for art and um, form and I kind of was regretting uh, pointing that out to him because I had an older painting up that uh, I thought I'd had a buyer for that didn't pan out but um, he's talking about the tree masses and he's like one two three and I'm like ah oh, curse you <laughs> and what I mean by that is like you've got three shapes or whatever they're all about the same size and they're all about the same distance apart that's what I mean so if you've been you now you know about it um, you can take a look at your own work uh, the uh, that's kind of related to and sort of similar to the pipe thing that I've talked about before where you know you ever seen those um, like gradient pipes you know uh, that you get in graphics programs um, you know you can definitely get that sort of syndrome as well and that actually tends to go hand in hand with the uh, one two three syndrome so Anyway, I wanted to get you a video today. I was in the studio and uh, I enjoyed doing this redo and I enjoyed sharing it with you. I hope you got a little something from it. It's it's not a full out metamorphosis, uh, but uh, you know, you got to hear me uh, chat a little bit about uh, what's going on with me. And that's the other thing I wanted to update people um, that were sitting there waiting for a live video. You know, you'll be waiting a little longer. It's possible that I can get into one. That's the other reason I get ready to move because now I have the uh, the owner of the shop there. Uh, I just get self-conscious when someone's actually around as I'm doing the live video because it really just sounds like I'm talking to myself, <laughs> which you know I'm good at, right? <laughs> but I'm I'm talking to you. That's what they don't know. I'm talking to you. They don't see you there, so they just think I'm. A bit daft, yeah. 
Anyway, uh, if you did like this video, uh, you can click the like, and if you didn't like it, you didn't get this far, so um, hopefully you didn't smash the unlike button, but whatever, do what you want. You know, probably a frustrated artist, probably a critic, that's my guess, you know, uh, curse him, curse him in his art, yeah. Um, I'll be back with another video. I, I have a few more of these um, metamorphous painting, paintings in, in a folder, so hopefully later on in the week I'll throw one of those your way. And it's possible if I do get a live, my act together on the live thing, I'll let you know. Meanwhile, um, please do me a favor, take good care of yourself, your family, your loved ones, and love your enemies too, okay? And until I see you, uh, take good care and stay out of trouble.